Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton. And I'm Charles Beeson. And today we're checking out some Frank Turner. Working our way through that FTHC album. Dun dun dun. Today we're checking out Untainted Love. Followed by Fatherless. Fatherless. So we got a double header for you guys. Like we've been kind of doing with the uh, whole album thing. Yep. Kind of works well. I agree. Um, I guess you just want to jump in. I don't really have anything to say about these. You know I do. All right. I sure do miss them drugs. I'm not giving the slightest fuck. Shivering and thunderstruck, but it nearly killed me. And I sure do miss cocaine. The bravado and blood stains. Crossing highs and creeping shame And it nearly killed me I'm not invincible After all I'm not invincible It's impossible A little early. I liked it. <laughs> so, definitely just kind of sharing his struggles even after the fact mm-hmm. of things he, like, misses from the addiction. The addiction or I took this as kind of like, you know, when you were younger? Yeah. Just being younger, you felt more invincible. Sure. And, you know, you could do... You could do the drugs, you could do all this, and have little to no repercussion from it. Even with the next day getting up and everything else, like as you get older, that gets harder, and you realize you're not invincible like you used to be, or like you used to feel. Okay, I could see that. I was going with more like the when you were high, you felt more like yeah. that. Yeah, I could see that. Maybe too. not like the next day, but like you you missed that because you felt kind of invincible during yeah. your addiction. Mm-hmm. Except you didn't feel invincible. Right. It was like one of those things where like when you were high, you felt great. But yeah. then afterwards. You needed the fix again. Otherwise, you felt like shit. Yeah. Crushing highs and creeping shame. And it nearly killed me. Um, and I miss independence, being high as fucking friendless. In the days that were numb and endless, nearly mm-hmm. killed me. Um, There's a couple other lines, too. Oh, and in the final analysis, when it all comes down to it. I went right up to the light, and it turns out I didn't want to die because the one thing I never accounted for was untainted love. 
so kind of maybe you know the love that he was kind of already he's dwelling on there in the first half of the song is mm-hmm. the drugs which is the tainted love yep and then maybe he found something that was you know gave him new life yeah whatever that may be yeah whether that be a person a religion or whatever yeah faith anything. yeah something it could be a lot of things man <clears throat> Could be a lot of things. Yeah. Whatever gets you through it, right? Mm-hmm. Um I really dig this. It was a vibe, dude. Yes, it really was. Um now the only thing I can say about it that might bring I don't even want to say bring the rating down, but it'll it doesn't really I don't really connect with it. Right. Lyrically, that's, obviously, that's never why I, a, a uh, drug issue. Right. That's why I tied it to, for myself, being younger and feeling more invincible. Okay. Because I never had any, I never got into anything like that either, but. Yeah. Well, yeah. You and, try to tie songs into you a little bit. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, just being perspective, I understand that and this song probably means a lot to him, too, just because, oh, yeah. you know, you're talking about the struggles that you went through. So, um, definitely respect that. Um, now, in my personal listening it probably won't be rated as high as what, you know, if we're oh, yeah. going off of a, if we were critics or something, I don't know. Yeah. But we rate our ratings off of casual ratings yep. or casual listening. So what we feel. Mm-hmm. Cause we just hanging out. Kicking it, baby. <laughs> so where does your rating fall from the song? Uh, I really like this. I'm going with a 7.4 and it's going in a playlist. Damn, son. I'm going to go with a 6.2. Like I said, I, I really like it. For me, I don't know how much I can connect with it, but I really like the sound. I like the story that he tells and kind of shares, you know, a little bit of himself there. Um, I think that's really cool. And uh, I kind of, you know, it's like one of those things where you like, you hope this can help other people with yeah, the oh same yeah. issue. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I got a couple F-bombs in here. You do? Then I'm going to dive into first. Rate those F-bombs, well, Chuck. You want to scroll up right off the bat, he is, oh, with one. Right off the rip. <laughs> I sure do miss them drugs and not giving the slightest F. <laughs> and then, and I miss the inv- independence of being a high as fuck and friendless. Man, I want to be friendless. i to deal with you. But, uh... Either way, these app bombs are really nice, mm-hmm. and I really enjoyed them. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna get an eight point two. Okay. And the friendless part, that f bomb, mm-hmm. that that's that's a ten easy. That's a ten, huh? Absolutely. My life would be better off if I was friendless. <sighs> I'm gonna kick your ass as soon as we're done with this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he said, "I know." <laughs> worth it. <laughs> he said, "Worth it." Very good. Very good. Shall we? Yep. We're gonna jump into fatherless. Ooh, some piano.
I love that piano piece in there. <laughs> right? That fit wild. It was like wild in there. I'm like, this shouldn't work, but it was working. Yeah. I really like the uh, <laughs> the showing of, you know, you're, you're missing a parent, and it's yep. like you're struggling because you want the attention that, you know, all kids deserve. Sure. Of... You know, you should have your parents learning and learning from them. And it, while you and I might not be able to once again connect with this mm -hmm. exactly, it still makes you thankful because you did have that. Right. If that makes sense. It makes mm -hmm. you more grateful. Whereas times it's funny because a lot of the stuff that was like he was complaining about, or I don't want to say complaining, but pointing out he wants someone to take him fishing. Yeah. Um, he wants to, someone to teach him how to shave. He wants someone to offer him fatherly advice and tut over mistakes I've made. Yep. All and some kind of acknowledgement would be nice. Well, did yeah. you get, did you get a lot of acknowledgement from your parents? No. <laughs> He's like sons of bitches. <laughs> no, actually, actually, when I did stuff wrong, absolutely. Is he, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot. Of, yeah. <laughs> well, that, see, that's the thing. That's why I'm like, it, it, you as a someone, you know, that you had your dad and whatnot, like, mm -hmm. it was kind of annoying when they would tut over your mistakes. And, <laughs> that's about, and yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, you weren't as grateful for this stuff as you should have been. Right. Where there's somebody that didn't have a father yeah. Oh, yeah. And so it gives you a little bit of that, like, maybe I should be more mm -hmm. thankful. Absolutely. Uh, which is, yeah, how I'm going to look at it. Took me a long time to be grateful for that. Well, sure. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I think, you know, as you're going up through, especially as uh, men, oh, growing yeah. up through your teenage years, you're a little mm -hmm. more angry and uh, angsty, right? Oh, yeah. And then uh, you hit your 20s, and you're like, well, holy shit. You right. got to wait till the mid-20s, and then you hit the holy it's, shit. It's, but... Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> It's dawning in the early 20s. Yep. You just don't want to admit it. Oh, yeah. And then that's your stubborn, yeah, yeah. super stubborn yeah. face. And you yeah. don't want to be like, yeah, you know what? You know what, Dad? You were right. And then you hit you, a, you, you you did right by me. Yeah. <laughs> and then you hit 25, and you're like, okay, I, I kind of see what you were dealing with here. And then when you hit 30, you're like, Jesus. And then you just buy your- I'm wore down, so I can And then you just buy your parents' neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got like an everyone loves Raymond situation going on over Absolutely. there. Absolutely. <laughs> Differences, my parents don't come over. <laughs> so you probably invade them, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I really think it's cool. Again, it's another, like, you know, personal insight mm -hmm. from uh, Frank, and I I kind of, uh, I dig it. Yeah. I get it, too. Oh, yeah. Big shout out, just like, hey, I need somebody to. Yeah. And he even kind of jumps in with the, uh, the faith, the religion part yep. aspect of it as well, like him reaching out that way. And then struggling with that a little bit. Yep. Um, as well. So he's got multiple fathers he's he's struggling with. Yeah. Ratings. What do you got? I really like that piano piece. But the rest of the song for me, like I said, it gave it was nice to uh, an eye opener for you. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. To make but I don't know how much I would enjoy this in my casual listening per se. So I'm going to go with a 5.7. I'm going to put it in a playlist, see what happens with it. Yeah, I'm going to hit with a 5.4, and I'm going to put it in a playlist as well. Um, just to try to see if it's going to grow on me. Yeah. Um, it's like you said, we this the lyrically, it doesn't resonate with me or my life. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, it's a really good message, and I really enjoy that. Agreed. And... If it grows on me, even better. Um, if it doesn't, maybe I could show this to a few people just to show people that sometimes you're just not alone Yeah, in that. and Well, that's why I think even when you can't connect for a song perfectly, 
it doesn't necessarily take the value of the song down right. because there's other people that can connect with this and help them through a hard time. So, Oh yeah. Yeah. In a big way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got. All right. Well, we are two boys. We have one brain cell. My name's Chuck Beeson. My name's Joel Norton. You can vote for that brain cell. In the comments down below. And please do that so we can insult each other. Absolutely. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.